Hey there, welcome to BurstBuzz.com. Today I'm going to show you how to put your hair up in the back, like a French twist almost, and have a little poof just ready for your little headband to go in between. This is something that I learned from John from Ford Models, so this is not exactly something that I've come up with. I did have to change it a little bit because my hair is probably three times longer, or I don't know, maybe two or three times longer than that girl, so... I couldn't tease it as much, but I did find a way to recreate it. So first thing is you're going to separate your hair in the front to however you normally style it. So I'm just going to have that little section right here. And then I'm going to have another section right here that is going to go over that poof that we make in the back. And you're going to want a good chunk right here, probably about an inch. And you're going to pull that forward. Pull it forward. You just have to imagine it going, you know, to cover that poof that you have in the back. I'm just going to clip it. You can kind of feel it and you'll know how much you'll need, just depending on how much hair you have. Then the next thing is I'm going to take all this loose hair in the back and I'm going to pull it up in a really high ponytail. As long as everything is smooth back here, you'll be okay. as high as you can. And I'll use a black hair tie. Just like that. And so what this is going to do is it's going to poof up pretty much just like that. First thing though, I like to tease it just a little bit. Not too much, because I have longer hair, so I can hide all that, but I'm just going to, and I'm just kind of grabbing it, pulling it down. It's like my quick tease. I'm going to hold it back like this. I'm going to hold the ends, kind of lift it backwards. Just create something like that. depending on how high you want it. And you're gonna clip it back. So you can use bobby pins, but I'm gonna have to use these clips like this, these little butterfly clips, because I have so much hair when I tease it. You can get these, I don't know, at like a crap hair, hair stores like Claire's and those smaller boutiques. They tend to have pretty clips. This one has little rhinestones like that. Okay, after you've done that, you're going to take your two sides and you're going to brush it out and divide it from your front part of your hair. And the back part of your hair where you're going to cover the big poof in the back. And you're going to want to concentrate more on the poof than your front part because you don't really need that much hair up in the front. Just enough for your headband. Okay. So you can either tease this to make it bigger in the back by just pulling it downward. Just taking a comb and smoothing it. Then you're going to take this side, pull it back, and take this side and pull it back. And just make sure you cover that, that thing that you made in the back. That roll. And then what you're going to do, you're going to just take it all and just start twisting it. Like that, just twist. And then you can secure it with any type of clip 
or bobby pins, just depending again on how long your hair is. Then you're going to take your rat tail comb and you're going to just blend it together. You don't worry if it looks a little funny right now. It's going to be camouflaged by your headband, but you don't want to look like a cone head. So you're just going to want to smooth that out and pull some bobby pins wherever is needed. Then you have this right here. So what I do is I just create a small line, a little divide. A small even divide, just like that. And I pull it to the side. And you can either clip it in with the rest of your clips. Just kind of open one a little bit. Or you could just put some bobby pin. I'm just going to go bobby pin crazy. So I'm going to hide everything between clips and bobby pins. Now I have all these little flyaways here. So that's when my bed head manipulator comes in. I'm just going to take a tiny little bit. This is kind of goopy. Just take a little bit. Grab it between my fingers and just smooth it down. You want to make sure that you don't see any of that gunk in your hair, so you want to smooth it down. So the back looks like this. I didn't see how I did it, so hopefully it looks okay. And I'm just going to put on my little candy cane headband. And I'm all set. And that's pretty much my, I don't know, whatever, poof in the back hair up look. Thanks again for joining me here at FirstBuzz.com. Bye-bye.